didn't think the water was actually going to be this blue. Uh, how pretty is this though? It's so pretty. Ooh, I love all the layers. It's so cool. This place is so magical. It is one of the most beautiful places that we've been to on this trip. We're about to walk into the climatized room where they keep all the butterflies. I ordered the black sesame buffalo ice cream. I did so. Never had anything like this before. It tastes like something that shouldn't be in ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should put it on top of a salad or something. <laughs> We're heading out to go hike Mount Fusi, 300 steps up to the top of a hill in the center of Luang Prabang. It's a little bit crowded. Now it's time for dinner. Everybody trusts me to pick out a restaurant, so they're gonna pay for it. The chef here has his own insect menu. A cricket wrap for an appetizer. I put two on. I bit that poor guy in half. <laughs> Sub ID and welcome back to another video from Laos. We are Sammy and Tommy and in our last video we explored the beautiful city of Luang Prabang. Today we have a full day exploring the Kuangsi waterfalls, visiting a local butterfly park and eating some very unique ice cream. We also do the hike up to Mount Fusi to enjoy the beautiful sunset and finish our day eating a very fancy but bizarre dinner. Made it to one sea waterfalls. We're gonna spend a few hours here. It's supposed to be beautiful. Can't wait to check it out. Seven. Oh, that looked freshly born. When I first saw them, they were both all on that log plant. The two of them were on that log. Laos moon bears is what they're called. How's it feel? Sad. If you don't want to spend 10 years in this, what makes you think bears do? I don't think bears do. Well, that was really cool and unexpected. Didn't expect to see a bunch of different bears here. The babies were super cute. I'm gonna come back later with the zoom lens and get some better shots. But now we're gonna head to the reason we came here, these beautiful waterfalls. There was three modes of transportation that you can take to get out here. You can take a tuk-tuk, you can do a private minivan, or you can rent a scooter and do it on your own. Since there was four of us, we chose to do the minivan. And then once you get out here, it is 20,000 kip a person to get in, which is like two bucks, so it's nothing.
So we got here pretty early. It's just after 9 a.m. to beat the crowds and there is nobody here yet, but it's so beautiful. Coming up on our first waterfall. I didn't think the water was actually gonna be this blue. Uh, how pretty is this though? It's so pretty. Ooh, I love all the layers, it's so cool. walked up two layers of the fall so far and still not that many people around we're gonna keep heading up the path and see what is further up <laughs> So this is the third level. But the water is so pretty, that turquoise blue. So blue. This place is so magical. It is one of the most beautiful places we've been to on this trip. I'm so glad we got here early to beat the crowds, but the water is so beautiful. So turquoise blue. I think we're gonna go swimming now. It is a little chilly, but it's warm enough with the drone shots, the jungle surrounding it. Definitely worth the trip. So it's just after 10 now and the crowds are picking up. Get here when it opens, we got here about 9. I bet 8 a.m. there's nobody here and up until 10 it's been great. All right, we are leaving the waterfalls now. A driver gave us options of three things to do. Butterfly garden, buffalo farm, or elephant farm. Maybe the buffalo thing sounds kind of cool. And the butterfly, we're going to and both. And the butterfly, oh, okay, we're going to both. That's where we're going now. What's it called? Bin in Ta. Uh, Bin in Ta. Yeah. Bin in Ta. Sasa in Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you. It easy. <laughs> to so we got a banana pancake with Nutella, an iced coffee, and then we got a mango papaya banana milkshake, which is absolutely delicious. And my parents got a whole fish right out of the Mekong River. The fish is called, according to mom, Mekong, Mekong. fish. <laughs> what kind of fish is it? Mekong. Looks good though. I How is it, you guys? It was wow. Thank you. Thank you for your excellent service. Bye bye. All right, that was a delicious lunch with an awesome waitress. Pretty cool, this main street here, they have a bunch of restaurants and shops you can use some souvenir shopping. Next spot we're going to is the Butterfly Park. I think it's just a few hundred meters away. just arrived to the Butterfly Park, which is a little bit south of the Kuangsi Waterfall. So it's another stop that you can stop up if you come up here to the waterfalls. They have an orchid garden, a butterfly house, and a fish spa, which we were just talking about earlier because the fish from the fish spa are taken from the river and the Kuangsi Waterfalls. So that's so cool. And it's included in the price of admission, which is only 40,000 kip. So like five bucks a person. given these fun little information booklets to walk through the butterfly park. I was wondering earlier why the water was so blue and the Kuangsi waterfalls and one of the pages explains it. So the turquoise color of the water is caused by oxidating copper nitrate inside the limestone of the valley. So there you go. Boom, science. <laughs> science. We're about to walk into the climatized room where they keep all the butterflies. a few things about butterflies they have a very short lifespan three weeks on average oh, that's so sad wild butterflies live for even less time because of the large number of predators looks like Sammy's about to try out the fish spa oh god I get there. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, what'd you guys think of the butterflies? It's beautiful. It's it very educational too, just Look at learning these about their lifetime and their life length. Next stop is the 
the Buffalo Dairy Farm. We decided not to do the tour of the Buffalo Dairy Farm, but we're just gonna try some ice cream. And it's homemade buffalo ice cream. So we got three flavors. Sammy got black sesame. I don't know what she was thinking. Dad got chocolate and me and mom got coconut. I ordered the black sesame buffalo ice cream. I did. Uh, never had anything mm -hmm. like this before. Chocolate. So never had mm. buffalo it's milk or it's buffalo good. ice cream. And I've never had anything flavored black sesame. I actually really like it. It does taste like sesame seeds, but it has like a very like nutty flavor too. Kind of just tastes like crushed up almonds. Doesn't it? Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like uh, something that shouldn't be in ice cream. <laughs> you, should, you should put it on top of a salad or something. <laughs> morning exploring the waterfalls, the butterfly garden, and the buffalo dairy farm. We came back and took an afternoon rest here in the hottest part of the day and now we're heading out to go hike Mount Fusi which I believe is just like 300 just 300 steps 300 steps up to the top of a hill in the center of Luang Prabang and there's a temple on top and it's supposed to be a beautiful sunset spot and it's one of the main things to do here in town and so we are gonna go climb those 300 steps and then get some dinner and call it a day So it's pretty cool, we can actually see the temple we're heading up to, right above us, right about there. I think this is it, huh? How big those feet are. Ooh. We made it up top, but it's a little bit crowded. Working in a good spot. It's a madhouse. There is absolutely no spots to watch the sunset. Just ridiculous. We could tell we're all walking up though with all the tour vans. We knew it wasn't gonna be good. How many steps? Um, um, it's not really. It's 328. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So it's pretty cool. After the sunset, we came down the walk down the stairs, the 328 steps and we're back in the night market that never ends, but it was so cool seeing it from above. Just the lights illuminating the tents and so beautiful right by the walk. Now it's time for dinner. Found a very interesting spot. Everybody trusts me to pick out a restaurant, so they're gonna pay for it. Yeah, that's the part, Dad. 
So I picked this restaurant not only because it had awesome reviews and it's a pretty gourmet spot. The chef here has its own insect menu. So me and mom are gonna try the a cricket wrap for an appetizer. And it's just crazy. Here are some of the dishes he has. He has a black ant egg coconut soup. That was actually pretty good. A red ant egg salad. I think I'm gonna go with the grasshopper pasta. Sounds pretty good. I'm excited. I definitely think you should get that and try it. Can't wait to see what you think of it. That was the big one. Just got a little shot of vegetable soup and they also delivered bread and some herb butter. Vegetable soup? Mmm, that's delicious. It's like a creamy vegetable broth and it has like a little crouton in it. So cute. <laughs> So it's been a while since we've been in a fancy restaurant and I was pretty sweaty after the hike and thirsty. So they bring these little glasses of water and every time I drink some it's like halfway gone. I think they've refilled mine like seven times now. So it's hilarious. You take a sip, put it down, and there's somebody coming along and I fill up your glass again. Number nine. It's a small portion, for example, how to make uh, the cricket wrap. But you can eat that, yeah. Look at those crickets. First cricket? No. Really good. Oh, really? It's so it's so different than we had it on the street. It's actually delicious. You guys try one. Just bite. Try one, yeah. Yeah, do it, Jackie. Oh, this Dana? Yeah, good. I'm not gonna remember that. It's fine. What's good, it taste like? Yeah. Like a soybean? Like a little, yeah, kind of barbecued soybean. Right, Try it, Dad. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's not even one. Very good, good one. Okay, so I think he put some in. Wrap without the stuff. Uh, oh, you want to look at your, so what else am I doing here? Put her sears down here. I put two on. Let me just take the first bite. I bit that poor guy in half. <laughs> the thing is stuck in your throat. Oh, yeah, it's the legs. Look at his head. What's his tail? Do you have on yours this time? Five. Five. Stepping it up, mom. Five crickets on a wrap. Sam used to be too big a wuss to even try one. My count is at zero still. Oh, thank you very much. Alright, so I'm trying my grasshopper pasta. All over. <laughs> Pasta's okay. The grasshoppers are a nice little crunch though. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Lots of herbs. I think I like the grasshoppers better than the crickets now. And Phuket, we like the crickets more, but now I'm back on the grasshopper train. So good. Thank you. Good night, thank you. So that was a delicious dinner. Such a fun experience. Cup dry. Great way to end our time here in La Provence. <laughs> That's it for tonight. We're heading back to our place to get some sleep. We are leaving early to head to a small village north of here. And it's a long journey, so thank you guys.